will stand back has carried the ball five times for 18 yards. Tennessee has three first downs. Alabama has one. Alabama has fumbled once. Tennessee recovered. Stand back, slot right off the shift. Howard is not in there. Trot becomes a, a flanker just outside the left side of the line. Long count, give up the middle, Chancy, and he is really met by Strickland again, submarining after a gain of a yard to the 27. They got past the line of scrimmage as Holloway has only a single running back behind him, that's Chancy. Holloway sprinting out to the right, feeding the pressure, looking downfield, being pursued, caught, boom, for a loss, back upfield at the 36-yard line. Mitchell and Cole, the two ends, converge to make the tackle on Holloway. His receivers downfield covered very well. Love was covered downfield by Bobby McKinney, and on the other side, Jimmy Young, the tight end, felt the pressure of Lanny Norris. Holloway did not throw the ball, was thrown for the loss instead. He's been thrown twice, both times for nine-yard losses, and so it becomes for Tennessee of love left. Running backs are split. Give goes to Chancey through the left side, breaks to the outside to the 35, down to the 34, and then he is hit by DeVos at the 34-yard line of Alabama. It will be short of a first down and into the ball game for the Volunteers comes barefooted Ricky Townsend. Townsend is in to attempt a field goal, and this will be his longest attempt of the year from that field goal. Here's the kick. It is in the air. The kick downfield is no good. It is off just barely. There's time out of the field with a score. Tennessee nothing, Alabama nothing. Prohibited in this area by the Pepsi Cold Ball and Company of Cookville, Tennessee. Him. He veers over the right side of the line, got a yard, runs into Witherspoon and Carl Johnson. Witherspoon in at a middle linebacker, playing a down guard to the left. Quarterback is Davis. Davis coming to the left, throws it out here to the flat, completed a Wheeler. Wheeler at the 30, Wheeler at the 35, Wheeler to the 36-yard line. And that's the play that has worked so consistently this year for Alabama. Terry Davis is now 25 of 43 in the air, and most of the time he's gone to Wheeler, who has now caught 12 passes. This one for a first down. The pass is good for 16 yards. So it will be first down and 10 to go Alabama. Short line of the tide. Tennessee with a five-man front. The give comes to the second man through. This is Jackson, the left halfback, and Jackson behind the blocking of Hannah and half range moves the ball to the 40-yard line of the Crimson Tide. Witherspoon is there, helped by Robert Fulgham. Four-man front of 4-3, now becomes virtually a 4-5 defense. Davis to the third man through. This is Jackson, and Rotella was waiting on him to make the tackle after a gain of maybe a yard. From the 40-and-a-half to the 41-and-a-half yard line, it'll be short of a first by five-and-a-half yards as Rotella continues to play outstanding defensive football. And their whole uh, orange team has played outstanding down at this point. There's really some hitting going on there. I was uh, an excellent call by Davis to hit that quick slant, and he said if Towns is going to come up and force the run of game, he'll fake the run at him and throw right out in the crease where he was. Third down, five. Man, man coverage here is uh, Davis on the option right, runs into Rotella, waiting on him, and then he is fed by three or four volunteers helping out with Conrad Graham in on the stop also, as Davis apparently hesitated just an instant too long. Tennessee's got the rush on, the snap to Gant. The punt is away, and then a marker flies, as it could be a roughing the kicker penalty against Tennessee, we'll see. He was hit as he punted. The reception was made by Brown at the 21-yard line of Tennessee, but the ball is being called for and will be brought back, and I believe that Tennessee will sustain a penalty for roughing the kicker. We'll wait and see. No question. Alabama's offensive unit is returning to the game. The score, nothing to nothing, with 3.22 to go in the first quarter. To our stations along the line, we'll make up any commercials that we might miss. Here comes the 15-yard penalty against Tennessee. Going for the block, Tennessee almost blocked it. Davis looking over the defense, gives it to Beck, Beck from the 40 to the 39. Reynolds is there with Pulliam defensively for Tennessee. Gain of a yard on the play, so it'll be second down and nine yards to go. The score, Tennessee nothing, Alabama nothing. The time, 2.53 to go in the first quarter of this game. Each team has had a wide right wheeler to the close side. Here is Davis coming back to the wide side of the field, pitches the ball back here. Great play by Tennessee defensively as the pitch went to the trailer, LeBou, and LeBou, just as soon as he caught the ball, was wrapped up by Carl Johnson, 
on a sterling defensive play at the 43-yard line. It'll be third and 14. That was beautiful defense on the part of the Vols, John. Of course, the thing that helped is uh, Allen come up there. Wide to the right side of the line. Tennessee in a four-man front. Here is Davis on the option right. Now dropping back to throw. Long pass for Wiener downfield is incomplete. He almost got to it at the 16-yard line, but it was slightly overthrown. Conrad Graham, who is slightly hobbled with an injured ankle, had lost his step to the fleet wheeler, but the pass was slightly overthrown, and it will become fourth down long. Into the ball game for Alabama. Comes uh, the snap coming back to Wade on a fourth down low snap. Here's the punt away, and it's a spiral angling to the near sideline, and it will go out of bounds somewhere in the vicinity of the 28-yard line. There's time out of the field with the score. Tennessee nothing, Alabama nothing. Just flip, just flip the switch for efficient, clean power. 30, stand back to the 35, stand back to the 40. There's a marker down, as stand back carries the ball to the 45 and onto the 47-yard line, but there is a flag down on the play. Back downfield at the 31-yard line. Great effort by Standback, who ran through two tackles, but there could have been a hold to help him get to the corner. Here's the ball being called for, will be returned, and Tennessee is going to sustain a penalty on the play. Standback for good yardage upfield around the corner, but here's the marker, and it is a half the distance to the goal penalty against Tennessee, moving the ball back down to the volunteer 13-yard line. And the penalty is for holding. So the balls will have it now. First down and 24 yards to go. First and 24 for Tennessee at its own 13-yard line. The score, nothing to nothing. Wide to the left side goes Robert Lassiter. Wide right for Tennessee. Away with long yardage to go. Alabama in a four-man front. Linebackers up fairly tight. Holloway fakes the stand back, fading to throw, looking long pass downfield intended here for Howard, is battled for and incomplete. It was at the 45-yard line of Alabama. Howard almost became a pass defender as Lanny Norris had position to make an interception, but Howard went up to deflect the ball, didn't touch it, but at least got 15. Quinn set to the right. Holloway pitches to stand back, trying to get to the far corner at the 10, and he's wrestled down at the line of scrimmage on a great defensive play. One of the corners came up there. That was Bobby McKinney, who made the tackle at the line of scrimmage. So there's no gain on the play, and it will be third down, still 23 and a half yards to go for the Volunteers. Nothing to nothing to score. Alabama has not really threatened, although that is the reason for the call for the timeout, Bill Anderson. Tennessee has had good field position. Well, they have, and they're about to get themselves and uh, let it get turned around on them now after that penalty. Uh, John, 15 yards back there, or half the distance to the goal line. They're deep in their own territory now, so they're going to have to get a super kick out of there, or they're going to uh, have Alabama coming right down their throat again. 32 seconds left to go in the first quarter of a scoreless game. The balls with a twin set wide, wide right comes. Lassiter inside him is high. Holloway looking out that way, four-man front for Alabama. A delay goes to Chansey up the middle. He grinds it out to the 15-yard line for a three-yard pickup. Mitchell was there making the tackle on him. So sophomore Neil Claybow will come into the football game for the Volunteers to punt on fourth down and 20, 20, 21 yards to go. Deep goes the his own one-yard line. Alabama has the rush on once more. The snap to punt by Claybow, a wobbly spiral. Upfield after it is McKinney at the 49, to the 50, breaks to the far side line, cuts back to the 48-yard line, and is spun down by Tom Johnson as he makes it to the 48-yard line, and the first quarter comes to a close. 36-yard punt, four-yard return. That's the end of the first quarter with the score, Tennessee nothing, Alabama nothing. For Alabama comes the tight end Dyer. Here is Davis, upended behind the line of scrimmage by a diving Michael Mormon of Boise, Idaho, whose submarine flew, and as Davis was possibly going to throw out into the flat. Really, the play never unfolded because Mormon dived through and tripped him up for a loss. From the 48 him goes Billingsley. They're in the eye formation. Here's the delay. Coming back to the counter side, he gets the midfield stripe and on to the 49. Carrying the ball this time comes Joe LeBou, the Memphis junior. He's met by Wilson, the backside linebacker, and Rotella, 
who slanted in from the strong side as Alabama came out of the wishbone, went to the eye, then countered back to the back side. And word to the play, stopped it after a gain of three. Third and 11, back to the wishbone. Alabama, quarterback with the fullback Beck. Quarterback Davis, long count. Spinning out to the left, looking to throw. Here comes the pressure, dumps it downfield. The pass is intercepted, cut it the 35. Gets to the outside. That's Brown to the 40. Brown to the 45. Brown to the 50. Brown to the 46 yard line of Alabama. And Tennessee has his first down and 10 to go. David Campbell gave a clearing block on the corner. Randy Billingsley makes the tackle after the interception run back of 21 yards by Gill Tennessee's Eddie Brown. And Davis felt pressure. And he simply threw the ball. Wagster was the him in love. Long count by Holloway. Give Sandback. Sandback through the right side of the line to the 45, to the 43, to the 40. Down to the Alabama 39-yard line goes hustling Hasco Sandback. Mike DeVos makes the tackle. David Schaefer gave him the block at the line to open the hole through which he sprints for a gain of seven. Second down and seven, a seven-man line. Holloway to Sandback. Great pursuit coming through there as a diving. Cabale just slowed him, and then the pin was made by Strickland. Actually a loss in the play to the 40-yard line, so it'll be third down and four to go. Great defensive effort that time, primarily by Cabale. Four, five-man down front, virtually a seven-man line. Holloway dropping back to throw, being pursued, being hemmed in, being thrown for a loss back downfield at the Tennessee 46-yard line by John Cole as Alabama's defensive front four simply overpowers Tennessee and Holloway never had a chance. Just as soon as he looked up, he was swarmed under by four of the Alabama Crimson Tide led by Cole. So once again, the Tennessee scoring opportunity just as it begins to blossom is nipped in the bud by the Alabama defense. Here is Clayville in the front on fourth and 18. The punt by Clayville is a high one. McKinney is asking for a fair catch and makes it at the 19-yard line. There's timeout on the field with a score. Tennessee nothing, Alabama nothing. Pepsi Cola is distributed in this area by the Pepsi Cola Bowling Company of Cookville. Davis takes the gift to Beck, the fullback, hands off instead to the second man through Jackson. Jackson at the 20, 23, 25, forward to the 27-yard line. He's tackled by Conrad Graham, the corner of the left side for Tennessee. It's a gain of seven yards on the play. It'll be second down and three to go for Alabama. Big Jackson at 6'2", 190. The fullback is now Michelle Young, who is 5'11", 198. Who's on the other corner? That Spivey or LaBoo? Spivey is in there as the right halfback. Give to the fullback. Uh, this is Vesalia. Vesalia breaks the hole in the middle of the line, carries the ball to the 30, crunches out a first down as he moves it forward to the Alabama 35-yard line. As the Crimson Tide grueling offensive ground attack begins to take its toll of Tennessee up the middle. The tackle was made by Tim Towns, but it's first down and 10 to go for Alabama at the 35-yard line. Davis, first man through, Spivey runs into two volunteers, but that offensive line for Alabama is coming briskly off the ball, and they move Tennessee back, and even though it appeared he was stopped at the line of scrimmage, the line of scrimmage had been moved forward two yards. He makes it out to the 37-yard line. It'll be second down, and he shifts wide out to the left side. Pew, the tight end. Double covered out there by Tennessee. Davis, hand off left side. Through the left side comes Bichelia, the fullback. Bichelia at the 40. Bichelia to the 45-yard line and slightly beyond. It'll be close to a first down. Reynolds makes the tackle. It will be a time for the officials to measure. Back into the ball game for Tennessee comes Robert Pulliam and also John Wagster back in there at tackle for the Volunteers replacing Mormon and Freer who have been playing. The chains are being hauled in. Let's take 10 seconds for, well, let's wait just a second till they stretch them and it is maybe just a bit short. It's at the 45-yard line. It is short on first. Right now, 10 seconds for station identification. This is the ball network. Nothing for you. Jackson, Spivey, the running back. Keeping is Davis. Davis sneaking up the middle. Gets his first down to the 46. Stopped by the entire center of the Tennessee line, but a little too late as Davis just comes behind Rain, Hannah, and Croft. They get to go at the 47-yard line. Tennessee with a seven-man line. Hand off Bichelia. Bichelia rolling over the right side of the line. 
as he comes just outside guard to the 46 to the 47 on to the 49 yard line. Rotella tackles him. The block laid by Hanna just powering the hole for Bichelia to move the ball to the 49. That's a gain of Bichelia. Bichelia with the ball through the left side of the line past midfield. He was hit but his power carried him into Tennessee territory to the 48 yard line. Johnson hit him. Wagster trailed to help, and Reynolds then also teamed up on the stop as the ball is moved to the Tennessee 48-yard line. Davis looking over the defense. He gives it over to Michelia. Michelia does not make his first down as Tennessee's John Wagster rides right along with Davis to make the tackle as Michelia gets the handoff, and he moves it down to the 45-yard line. It's a yard and a half short of a first. Alabama looking to the sideline. Greg Gant, who punted earlier and was rough, is standing by Coach Paul Bear Bryant. And right now, Alabama wants to talk about things. So the tide asks for timeout. With timeout, the score, Alabama nothing, Tennessee nothing. Just is the fullback. The quarterback is Davis. Tennessee with a virtual eight-man line. Davis, Michelia coming to the wide side. No three. You did not take a first down. Tennessee has the oval at the volunteer 45. William was the man at the bottom of the heap. Rotella helps out, but Alabama trying to power over the right side of the line, and Tennessee had the play smelled all the way. There was really never any doubt that he would not make it. On the weak side to take advantage of it. Tennessee with the ball. Pitch goes to stand back. Needs a block of the corner. Gets one. Turns to the 45, to the 50. Breaks the tackle down to the Alabama 45-yard line and was within a stride of going all the way to the land of milk and honey, but the man who prevented him was Lanny Norris. He blocked by Howard on the corner as Sandback dances downfield to the Alabama 45 and a half. The play started at the Tennessee 45. Chancey the fullback. Sandback's gone all the way at tailback. Sandback up the middle, got to the 45 and a shade beyond. Might have gotten the first down. Kubelius and Reigns are there on the tackle. That's Mike Reigns, who's a brother of Pat Reigns. Ball at the 45, they're looking it over and may measure. They're going to measure. So that's how tight this Alabama defense is playing in the middle. The score, Alabama nothing, Tennessee nothing. The balls have had a couple of scoring opportunities and at one point went for a field goal of 52 yards, which was long enough, but just slightly off. They're measuring for the first down, and let's see. Chains are stretched. It's put down. He says it's about an inch. One inch to go. Well, it's third down and an inch. So Tennessee will have the ball. At the Alabama 45-yard line, after Alabama just a moment ago, went for a first down try on a fourth down a yard and a half and was stopped. Tennessee took it at the 45 on the play, first play from scrimmage. Sandback went nine and a half. He got an inch on the last one. The quarterback. Third down short. Holloway sneaks. He's got him a first. He just wiggles his way to the 44-yard line. First and 10 Tennessee at the Alabama 44. The Volunteers now have picked up first down number four. Alabama has four. Sandback has carried the ball nine times. Alabama with, well, it looks just like an eight-man line. Back to throw is Holloway on first down. He's going to run. He's going to get the 45. He makes the outside of the 40. He's down to the 35. On he goes to the 35-yard line where he is upended by DeVos. Andre Holloway, and he was then shaken up on the play after he was tackled. The, open, the middle opened up, and Holloway streaked downfield. They mark it at the 36. Some of the ball fans thought there was a late hit, but in all fairness, it appeared that the Alabama man who was coming in to really apply a jolt to Holloway as he was still moving, slid past and tried to avoid him and maybe just edged his helmet. With his knee. That was Anderson talking. It'll be second down and a yard. Holloway with the ball at the quarterback's line. The fullback is Dancy. Too much time for Tennessee and there's going to be a five-yard step up against the Volunteers. Five yards, moving it back to the 41, and part of that timeout was that Holloway was injured. And Anderson, you might explain your brief comment just a little more there. Well, it's hard for, it's very difficult for 
official, to, you know, he, he went over the top of him. He was in motion, but I think what the fans were booing about, it looked like he caught his head with his knee as he went over. So now it becomes second and six. Tennessee has had three penalties in this game, all costly ones. Holloway coming out to the left. Here comes a blitz. Holloway is thrown behind the line of scrimmage at the 49-yard line by Dubois. That's the fourth time Alabama has blitzed and gotten to Holloway. And this time it was once again DeBose who has done it three times. Holloway is hurt on the play and is coming to the sideline and will be replaced, I believe, by Valbuena. Holloway has been double flanker. Wide left love, wide right goes Howard. Valbuena back to throw. Here's the blitz to him. Screen pass out here, taken by Sandback. Sandback gets the ball at the 47, down to the 45, on beyond to the 43-yard line of Alabama. It will be far short of a first down. DeBose again, who's playing a great game at middle linebacker for the Crimson Tide, makes the tackle, and actually they say he made it to the 40-yard line. Tennessee has to move it to the 30. Tennessee in punt formation, Alabama has nobody deep. Snap to Claybo. Claybo hangs it up, drilling it toward the near sideline. Let's see if it will go out of bounds or on into the end zone. It goes into the end zone for the touchback. Alabama has it at the 20. 4.36 left to go in the first half of the game. A 40-yard punt by Neil Claybo angling for the near sideline. And for just an instant, it appeared that it might kick out of bounds. But instead, it kicked on into the end zone, and Alabama has it at the 21st down at 10 to go. First and 10 for the Tide at the 20-yard line. There is no score in this game. Tennessee has had good field position. But Alabama has, when the occasion demanded, gone to the blitz. And they stopped Tennessee. First and 10 of the 20-yard line. Davis stays in there at quarterback. Hands it over to Bichelia. Bichelia powering over left guard. Moves the ball to the 23. A gain of three. Wagster and Reynolds make the tackle on him at that point. Second down, seven for Alabama. 4.23, and the clock is counting in the first yard line. Otherwise, at the 20, on three occasions, and at the 26. It's now at the 23, second down, seven. Davis. Back to throw, looking, waiting, pass downfield is complete, taken by Wheeler. Wheeler makes the catch at the 39 and is forced out of bounds at the 41-yard line of Alabama. Time in the first half of the game. Davis with Bichelle, you the fullback. Davis on the option, going out, looking for Wheeler, throwing the ball long for him, overthrowing incomplete. Allen playing with him stride for stride in the vicinity of the Tennessee 42-yard line. The clock is stopped with 3.55 to go on the incomplete pass. He comes back to the Alabama 40-yard line, put it to 41, and make it second down, still 10 yards to go. Out goes Spivey, got a slot left. They're in the eye formation, out of the wishbone. Davis looking over Tennessee's defense. Now he's dropping back to throw, looking in the middle. Instead, a flare comes out here to the tight end, Dyer. They're waiting on a great move by Dyer. He makes it back to the line of scrimmage. He was about to be thrown by Ken Lambert for a loss of four or five yards, and then he took a change of pace and eluded Lambert, but then Conrad Graham came up to force him out of bounds at the 41-yard line. So it'll be third down and still 10 yards to go. A screen back to the backside that time. As the flow went to the wide side of the field left, the pass came back on a screen right. Alabama going in the first half of the game. Davis with a long count. Keeping on the option, pitches the ball back here to the trailer. With the ball is LeBou, and LeBou is forced out of bounds in the vicinity of the 42 or 43 yard line. Carl Johnson played it well, but David Allen was the man who fended off the would-be interferers out in front of the racing LeBou, and was the man who turned the play after a gain of two. It will be fourth down and eight yards to go. Gant is back in the putt as the sun comes out here at Neyland Stadium. Nothing to nothing to score. The snap, the putt is away, and it's a beauty. Brown racing over to the far sideline, makes the catch on the run and steps out of bounds at the 21-yard line of Tennessee, where the Volunteers will have it first down and 10 to go. Tennessee first and 10 of the 21. Valbuena will be the quarterback. Holloway still on the bench. Right, they may shift. No, they're running on a fast, quick count. Chancey up the middle from the 21 to the 23 or 4, maybe even to the 25-yard line. It's Strickland there defensively for Alabama. The ball at the, put it short of the 25, make it uh, third. He's 6'3", 205, a junior from Fountain Park, California. Wide left comes Emmon Love. Valbuena gives to Standback, coming left to the 30, breaks off side to the 35, Standback at the 40, Standback at the 45, Standback pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line of Tennessee. Great hole, coming back to the back side, that was Richard Earl, who must have laid a block, also helping out Steve Mitchell from Sparta, and Standback, who can dart, 
skirts upfield for a gain of 20 yards to the volunteer 44. He was rushed or forced out of bounds by McKinney. Valbuena, the quarterback. Valbuena, back to throw. Valbuena looking. Valbuena passing. Valbuena pass is incomplete. It was intended for Chip Howard, who had a stride as he cut to the crease, and Valbuena was on target. Howard had it for just an instant and was decked as he had his hands with the ball by landing. Howard inside of Love. Valbuena back to throw. Valbuena waiting. Valbuena throwing out into the flat and sending it for Sandback. The ball goes on out of bounds and is incomplete. It was overthrown. And it will become third down, still 10 yards to go for Tennessee. There is no score in this game. Two minutes, 11 seconds left to go. As the balls have Valbuena in. Holloway in the air, three of one for 24 yards. Valbuena fakes the draw, back to throw. Mitchell comes in on top of him. Valbuena looking, Valbuena passing, complete. Taken by Love at the 45, Love to the 40. Love down to the Alabama 40-yard line where he's tackled by Laddie Norris. But Valbuena debating whether to run a throw, pulled it up about one yard from the line of scrimmage and rifled the pass down to Love. Will be Tennessee first and ten at the Alabama 40. The clock shows 153 and it's running. Valbuena brings them up to the line of scrimmage. Alabama nothing, Tennessee nothing. The volunteers asking for timeout. They should have. 142 to go and Valbuena uncertain of the play call is asking for timeout. With timeout to score, Tennessee nothing, Alabama nothing. In motion to the right, McMakin following him over that way. Here is Valbuena, back to throw, drops it out into the flat to stand back at the 40, stand back at the 35, stand back at the 30, stand back at the 25 and out of bounds. There is a marker down at the 45-yard line. A marker down at the Tennessee 40, at the Alabama 45-yard line. The ball is being called for at first and 10 of the 45-yard line of the Volunteers. Hand off Chansey, Chansey breaks one tackle but not the second. And he dies forward from the 45 to the 47. A minute 10 to go in the first half of the game. Mike DeBose is the man who makes the tackle. Tennessee running without a huddle. Running the play without a huddle. Wide left comes Love. Wide right goes Young. Valbuena counting the ball. Now back to throw. Going down here to Love. It is intercepted by Alabama. Picked off here by McKinney, who makes the catch to the 45. Back to the 40. Down to the 35. Down to the 30. Down to the 25. Down to the Tennessee 21-yard line where Valbuena forces him out of bounds. Return 25 yards as Tennessee was trying to kill the clock. And they passed it out into the flat, and it was intercepted by Alabama. And returned back downfield by McKinney. So the tie has its deepest penetration after the, the interception at the 22-yard line with plenty of time to go. 50 seconds of the first half of this football game. Tennessee's defense digging in. Alabama up in the eye formation. Wide to the left side goes Wheeler. Davis the quarterback. The fullback is Michelia. Here is Davis with the ball. Going to the left on the option. Fits the ball back to the trailer. Labou to the 20. Down to the 17 and he's wrestled down at the 16 yard line by Jamie Rotella. Nothing to nothing to score. 39 seconds to go. And Alabama has asked for timeout to stop the clock. Alabama asking for time out to stop the clock, and Jerry Davis will go over to the sideline to confer with Coach Paul Bear Point. Just a moment ago, Tennessee wanted to kill the clock. Valbuena drifted a pass out into the flat line. Second down and five. 39 seconds to go in the first half. The tied with it, Davis the quarterback. Tennessee in a five-man down front. Davis coming to the near side of the option, waiting, being pressured, now throws it out into the flat, completed to LeBrew, LeBrew makes the catch to the 13, and carries it down to the 10 and onto the 9-yard line, where Eddie Wilson makes the tackle on him. Clock is running uh, with 24 seconds to go, and Alabama will have the ball at the Tennessee 9-yard line. Now, the officials are stopping the clock to mark it for the first down, which it will be, I believe. Yes, it will be first down. So the clock is stopped with 20 seconds, 15 seconds to go on the clock running. There's a movement in the backfield and a marker flies, and let's see if there'll be a penalty on this play. The officials are discussing the situation, and there will be a penalty upcoming against either. It's going to be against, I believe, Alabama for moving in the line, and so Alabama gets its field goal unit into the game. A five-yard step off against Alabama for illegal procedure. Tennessee reacted by making contact, so the ball is moved back to the 
about the 14-yard line where Alabama will be attempting a field goal with Bill Davis to attempt it. It will be of 31 yards in length from the near hash mark. There is no score in the game. The clock is running. Now, wait a minute. They ask for timeout to stop the clock with two seconds to go. Alabama looked for an instant as if they were going to let the clock run off, and it was counting down, and it got to two seconds, and somebody looked up and saw it. And so they stopped the clock with two seconds to go. And, of course, two seconds is as good as two minutes for a field goal attempt as long as the clock is stopped. This is longest effort this year, 39. This one, 31 yards. Snap, ball down, kick is in the air. The kick is good. And the first half comes to a close. That's the end of the first half with the score. Alabama 3, Tennessee nothing. When it comes to electricity, quick tempers... the ground short of the 25 yard line on a tackle by Art Reynolds who closed lined him at the put it at the 24 yard line a return of 20 yards from the four to the 24 so two flankers wide left and right Davis Michelia Michelia just powering over the right side of the line past the 25 to the 26 maybe to the 27 yard line Wagster and Reynolds are there over the year Alabama has not had impressive first half Second down, six. Davis, second man through. He is hit. Fine defensive play by somebody in the middle. It was Art Reynolds, the middle linebacker, who was there to upend the tackle, uh, upend the runner, who in this case was Paul, Paul Spivey coming off the right halfback position. Wheeler. Now they slot Jackson inside of Dyer left in the I formation. Lambert, the end on the near side, looking around as Tennessee rotates. Here's Davis spinning out to the left. He's going to pitch it back there to the trailer. Getting to the outside is Spivey. Fumbles the football is wearing loosely. Tennessee had it for the moment. And let's see who's got it. Give it to the Lawrence Cohen. Reynolds recovers that football. It was lying there at the... ...the recovered fumble. Holloway is your quarterback. The pitch to stand back. Coming wide to the left. Tries to get to the corner. Just runs through a man at the 30. Down to the 28-yard line. The man through whom he ran was McKinney, but McKinney stayed with him and just wrestled stand back to the ground. They put it at the 27-yard line. Tennessee has recovered two Alabama fumbles, has intercepted one Alabama pass. Alabama has intercepted one Tennessee pass, and down eight and a half yards to go. Holloway with a long count. Stand back, coming to the near side. 25, run through a man, 23, down to the 22, battling to the 21-yard line, driven out of bounds at the 20. Haskell stand back with that football. Coming back to the weak side as Tennessee flowed to the right and running on a counter back to the left side comes the junior from Canabolis, North Carolina, who now has carried the ball 13 times and left. The ends are in tight. Alabama builds an eight-man forward wall. Fullback is Chancey. Holloway looks it over. Stand back up the middle. He fights for bite. He, I don't know whether he made it or not. Where they mark it is going to be the point. He got to the 19-yard line, and there'll be a measurement here. Paul and McMakin were there on the tackle, and now they spot it a little short of the 19-yard line. They're going to measure. Tailback Chancey, tailback standback. Holloway, standback, coming left, 20, breaks outside 15, has the ball, just runs through a man to the 10-yard line. They say he stepped out at the 11. Bobby McKinney makes the tackle. Tennessee on that same play, coming back on a counter to the backside. Moves it down to the 11-yard line, Bill. Some real fine running by standback, too. John, I tell you, he's gotten out of there. And five man front, but they're stunning. Holloway, standback, coming left, and he's hit this time behind the line of scrimmage and thrown for a loss back to the 12-yard line. Submarining Cabrillas, and there was DeBose. And DeBose has played a great game at a middle linebacker. He's a sophomore from Hop, Alabama. No gain on the play. Still at the little two to go. Alabama defensively. Pitch going to stand back. Stand back cutting. Inside. He has the ball at the 10. Spins off to the nine-yard line and is wrestled down at that point. Wayne Hall, the linebacker on the strong side and the strong cornerback Norris over there on the tackle. They'll spot it short of the nine and we may have another measure. Stand back. Squirming right has carried the ball six straight times. 
and the officials looking it over. It appears again to be short of a first to me. But the official is asking Tennessee if it wants a measurement, and Tennessee says, yes, we'll take a measurement. So they'll bring the sticks in. It will be either fourth and half a yard or first and goal. And so the decision is being made on the sideline whether to go for the first or whether to go for a field goal and tie it up or attempt to. They stretch the chain. Give us a sign, referee, yes. It's about six inches, maybe a little more. Short. Six inches short. Will Tennessee go or not? Holloway wants timeout. Holloway wants timeout. They're going to talk about it. With timeout on the field, the score, Alabama three, Tennessee nothing. Mississippi apparently is going to, well, they're going to go for something. Holloway. Stand back. He's got a first. He's down to the five. He's down to the four. He's down to the three. He's down to the one. He is tackled at the one-yard line. Has to stand back over Emmendorfer. Powers his way to the Alabama two where his knee drags, they say. And the Volunteers have it first. What do you want? Five tries instead of four. Tennessee. First and goal. Stand back. Calling into the center of the line. And he is jolted as he wedges from the two to the one. Mac Mason was there initially, but there are a lot of people helping out. Let's see where they spot the ball. And this is getting to be an interesting feature of the game. The spotting just in three nothing. Holloway the quarterback. Second down goal at the one and a half. Holloway keeping. Holloway going. Holloway's got six. That ball. Touchdown. Tennessee. Congress Holloway from Huntsville, Alabama has scored the game's first touchdown. And Tennessee leads Alabama 6-3. to three. Now, Johnny, I tell you, the big play, of course, comes on a mistake, and that's what happens in these ball games. A fumble out there gave Tennessee the ball, but uh, Tennessee has done just a super job of taking away the outside, the pitch. They've uh, four seconds uh, with their half back, the linebackers. Uh, they've played the thing right to the hill and just about taken away that outside threat by Alabama. So it will be time to attempt the extra point. It splits them. There's five out of the field with a score. Tennessee seven, Alabama three. Hey, Dirt and Diddle, insurance is a rule for many quarters. Seven to three. 29-yard drive after the fumble. Downs and kick will be taken at the one-yard line. Back to the five, to the 10. Comes to the near sideline to the 15. Bingo. He is bang. One, two, three, four, five volunteers are there to go him. Sammy Hare from Golden Georgia was there first. The returner was, in this case, McKinney, who brings it back to the 15-yard line. And Alabama has it deep in its own territory. Tennessee, of course. Dyer, Rutledge, the quarterback for Alabama. Rutledge gives it off to the first man through, and that's fullback Ellis Beck. And Ellis Beck runs into a host of volunteers as he makes it from the 15 to the 16, maybe the 17-yard line. Carl Johnson, a Palatka, Florida senior, was there on the tackle. Placing Terry Davis. Wide left goes Weaver. Rutledge with the ball, dropping back to throw, looking for Wheeler. Passes downfield. It is complete on a great diving catch by Wheeler at the 32-yard line. Wayne Wheeler went down, curled back, died for the pass, which was thrown right on the money low. Right on top of him was David Allen, where it was a perfect pass, almost impossible to cover, and it's first down at 10 to go for Alabama. Now, that was perfect execution. David had a man in his face, and he fired it in there just a two-yard line in tight territory. This is Rutledge on the option coming toward you, turns over tackle, gets to the 35, to the 36, maybe the 37-yard line. Robert Pauliam tackles him with help from Art Riddle. Play started at the 32, moves it out to the 37. Let's see the action as Alabama has its second down five. Give comes to the first man, Beck, and Beck turns from the 37 to the 38 on close to the 40-yard line of Alabama. Reynolds there on the tackle for Tennessee. It's short of the 40 by the length of the football. So it will be third down. Rutledge the quarterback. Third down three. Back to pass. Out into the front. That is down and almost intercepted by David Allen. And if Allen had that one, he would have run all the way back to Athens, Georgia with it. <laughs> but it goes incomplete. And it will be fourth down three. And Allen is a little mad at himself. Bill. I'm sure he is. Down deep for Tennessee is Brown. Tennessee leads 7-3. to three. The snap, the punt is away, and he hits it beautifully. Brown driven back all the way to his own 14-yard line. Makes the catch there. Gets to the corner away from one man to the 15 and is knocked out of bounds. 
as he gets back to about the 17 or 18 yard line. Fine punt coverage by Joe Labou from Memphis, Tennessee. 47 yard punt by Gant, four yard return. And Tennessee has the ball leading seven to three deep in its own territory. And split in. Holloway with an extremely long count. Counter play stand back past the 20. Spins off to the 21 or 22 yard line. John Cole there first, helped out by Reigns defensively on the left side of the Alabama line. They're going with Mitchell and Cole at end. Howard, handoff, stand back, stand back, great right, right, has the ball at the 22, but great move at the 25, cuts back across the grade to the 26, spins out of the gas at the 28, dies past the 30 to the 31 yard line, where he's been by Lanny Norris, it appears to be enough for a first down. Great effort, has school stand back. Well, he's having a great play with that one play going back to the weak side there, this uh, putting the strength the other way and giving it to him, he's coming off the top of that eye, and he's getting it started about as quick as I've seen him start. First down yard line of the Volunteers. Holloway, Chancey, Chancey right, Chancey has the ball at the 31, down, he goes to the 33, and just by sheer power, fights his way to the 35-yard line. Four-yard pick, second down, six. Give Chancey, Chancey at the right side of the line, got to the 36-yard line, and is jolted there, got a yard, baby. As he goes powering again over the right side of the line, Range was there, so was Crowell. They're both well, that's just about the way it's been all afternoon long. It's over here by Alabama. Tennessee in the eye formation. At the tail of it, that's Standback. This is he up the middle. Standback breaks to the outside to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. Down to the Alabama 45, down to the Alabama 43 yard line. To pass to Standback. And Tennessee on third down picks up a crazy game on a stupendous run by Haskell Standback. The find a brilliant block by Sparta, Tennessee, Steve Mitchell, the weak side guard, as the ball counter back the opposite way. Stand back is the lead for a uniform change as his jersey was whipped off him and Carruthers has replaced him. 22 yards run by Standback. Tennessee gives Chancey up the middle, fumble for all, it's recovered by Alabama at the 40 yard line. Mike Range is the man who recovers the ball for the Crimson Tide. As Chancey, straight up the middle, spun, lost the ball, it was recovered by Alabama. So the Tennessee drive is stopped. Alabama has good field position at its own 40-yard line with 5.29 to go. That is the first fumble split, uh, tight end, that's Pew. With it is Rudley. Rudley's being split, throws the ball back into the trailing. Spivey, Lambert got him from the rear with great pursuit, throws him for a loss. Helping out with Jeffries over there from Dyersburg, Tennessee. As just as Rudley was hit, he pitched back with Tennessee's recovered two fumbles, I think. With the ball, it is Alabama. Rudley, the quarterback, on second down long. Long count. Lambert, almost. Close lines him. Now here's a long pass down here for Wheeler. That is patted down at the last instant by Eddie Brown. Incomplete at the Tennessee 20. Wheeler had gotten in the crease between Brown, and that was Conrad Graham who was following with him. And Brown, the free safety, made a leaping deflection of the ball over the head of Wheeler. It is incomplete, and it becomes third down and 11. For a moment, the attention. Long count by Davis, Tennessee with a seven-man line. Here is Davis on a reverse, coming deep to the near side. Graham playing it over here, open field tackle, missed, but he's closing down and he's thrown for a loss in the 38-yard line by a swarming group of defenders. Conrad Graham made the play. He was waiting for it, turned the play, couldn't make the tackle himself, but he slowed down. The man who was three, Alabama goes with a deep reverse. Tennessee plays it perfectly. Snaps again. Gant's punt is away, and he hangs a high spiral. Brown driving over after the ball, makes the catch at the 22, gets the block. Cuts to the 35, breaks outside to the 37, carries the ball to the 39-yard line, and he's tackled at that point. Tennessee will have it at the 39. Henry Walter of Knoxville was the man who threw the block that cleared the path for Brown to return a 40-yard punt, 18 yards. Tennessee has it at the 39-yard line. Tailback is Standback. Holloway with an extremely long count gives it to Standback. Standback is really belted as he gets to the line of scrimmage to the 40, and then he is shoved back as he runs into hard-hitting Randy Hall and Jeff Blitz, the most appropriately named linebacker. Gain of two, maybe one. We'll call it two and make it second down at eight. Moved upfield too quick. Let's see. Here's a handoff going up 
to the turn he, well, he kept the ball. With it was Conrad, uh, Condridge Holloway keeping it after pumping and driving the ball forward from the 40 to the 42 onto the 43 and maybe to the 44-yard line. Our eye was on Trot, who was the man in motion. Holloway is discussing something with the official over here about his equipment. Now comes back in there and is asking for timeout. As his pad had been pulled free of him. One of his pads was pulled out, and the official will not let him have time out there for an equipment change. So there's time out on the field with the score, Tennessee 7 in Tennessee at its own 44-yard line. Holloway, sprinting out left, waiting to throw, back across the green to stand back at the 40, stand back to the 45, stand back, lowers his head and throws forward to the 47-yard line. Tackled there by the trailing Dubose and Lanny Norris, the quarterback. It's short of a first down by two yards. And so, into the ball game comes Neil Claybo for Tennessee with 2.47 to go in the third quarter. Tennessee leading 7-3. to three. In this quarter, Tennessee thus far has had 18 plays. Alabama apparently has the rush on the snap. Claybo's punt is away, and he hangs it up. Oh, he drills that one. It is going all the way down into the end zone, bounces out of there, but it won't matter because once it passes that plane this year, it is a touchback. So Alabama will have the ball at its own 20-yard line, first down and 10 to go. The broadcast of today's game is at the height, almost in the form of a V. There is Rutledge mixed up as he turned to give the ball off to somebody, and there wasn't anybody there except John Wagster of Tennessee who tackles him after a gain of a yard. Second down, nine. Rutledge, the quarterback, Spivey, LeBou as running backs. They're in the wishbone. Second down, uh, nine for Alabama, trailing seven to three. Give goes, no, it's with Rutledge coming to the right side. Great play by Rutledge. Now he pitches the ball out to the trailing Jackson, and Jackson makes the grab of the 30, carries it forward to the 35, and is forced out of bounds to the 36-yard line by Eddie Brown. Tennessee went for the fake to the inside, to the fullback, and it was a great fake by Rutledge, who kept the ball. He swept the right side of the line. He carried it about to the 33 or 34, then pitched the ball back to Jackson and by Rutledge. Here is Rutledge handing off inside, slanting through, comes the left back, uh, left halfback Wilbur Jackson, and Jackson gets good yardage past the 40-yard line of Alabama, forward to the 42, where Mike Mormon meets and makes the tackle for Tennessee. William returns to the Volunteers, replacing Mormon, who made the tackle on that play. The ball is at the 42-yard line. That was the gain of five by Jackson. The score, Tennessee 7, Alabama 3. The time, 122 to go in this third quarter. Rutledge sends wide left Wayne Wheeler. Second down, five. Long count. There's a marker. You're in motion, Alabama. Handoff goes to Jackson. Jackson spins off the first tackle and falls forward to the 44-yard line where Wagster again was on the tackle along with Towns. But Alabama's all three of their wishbone backs seem to jump just an instant too soon. Yeah, and I think that's what the call's going to be. I, uh, I tell you, this is, uh, I don't think at this point in the ball game it's too much can be said for the Tennessee defense. They have done just an outstanding job up there. They're uh, outweighed and uh, everything across that front line, and they've just been able at this point in the ball game to shut off the, uh, practically shut off the, the Alabama rushing game. They make a little bit of yardage up front, but every time they go on the option uh, to either side, which has been the big play uh, out of the wishbone, they've been up there just forcing it to death and uh, throwing it for a loss most of the time. Tennessee takes the penalty, and it begins. And Alabama comes out of the wishbone into the eye with a slot right toward the close side. With it, this is Rutledge, fading back to throw. Boom! You cover the ball, and it is recovered over there by Tennessee. Give it to the big Allen at the 28-yard line. Claude Simonson unloosed that ball from Rutledge, who never saw it coming from the blind side, and Campbell alertly recovered for Tennessee at the 28. Simonson really made a jolting tackle of Rutledge, who made a reverse pivot coming out of there, and Simonson simply out. Tennessee first down, 10 at the Alabama 28. Stand back, up the middle, stand back at the 25, forward to the 24-yard line of Alabama. He was tackled by Cross. Tennessee, another big play. This time a recovered fumble by Campbell, but it was forced by Simonson. 
as Rutledge was rolling left, reverse pivoting to throw, and he was bombed from the rear. Back is Rudder, tailback is standback. This is Holloway, pitching to standback, coming left, 25, 20, lowers his head, runs through a man to the 18, down to the 17-yard line, goes Haskell standback, Rudder gave him a block of the corner, but standback lowers his head, powers his way, first and 10, Tennessee, 17-yard line. I tell you what, John Stanback is having one more, one more football game today. That's the end of the third quarter. At the end of three periods, the score: Tennessee seven, Alabama three. Stanback, wide right, Howard. Holloway is quarterback for Tennessee. Alabama in a four-three. Long count by Holloway. Stanback up the middle. Sends off the first tackle. Got only a yard this time. The hole simply was not there. He caused the five defensive play by Mike Reigns and Randy Hall, who were in there in the middle of the line. Sonny Leach returns at tight end for Tennessee. The score, 7-3, Tennessee. Here is Holloway, who comes rolling out and stumbles and falls for a sizable loss back to the 25-yard line. Alabama had the rush on, and Holloway, coming out from under the center, stumbled and fall, fell under the pressure for a loss back to the 24-yard line. Perhaps the blitz. Let's see. The middle linebacker edging up ever closer. Holloway keeping the ball. Pitches the ball back to Sandback. Got by Rudder. Sandback down to the 20 out of the 19-yard line. Tennessee fourth down upcoming. Probably will go for a field goal. Cole and Norris make the tackle on Sandback at the 19-yard line. Into the ball game comes Ricky Townsend. And also in there will come Tom Johnson at center, who is replacing Steve Urabek, who has been playing center on that particular series. So Johnson will snap, Holloway will hold, and Townsend, with penalty leading 7-3, to 13-15 to go in this football game, will be attempting a 36-yard field goal. Snap down, kick up, the kick by Townsend is good. There's five out on the field with a score, Tennessee 10, Alabama 3. Service and supply companies, your local. Something coming downfield, relatively short, taking it to five, back to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27 yard line for Alabama. Comes the returner, we'll have to check it. I think that was McKinney. The tackle was made by Walter. It was McKinney who returned the kickoff from the five. A junior, Davis. Back, no, he gives it off. We've got the ball on the right side. The handoff goes to Jackson. As he lost everybody, particularly me, and Jackson circles the right side of the line, moving it to the 30, on to the 32, let's see where they spot it, 31 and a half yard line. Fine faking by Davis, who faked the give to the fullback Spivey, and then handed it off on the second option to Jackson, and Jackson gets good yardage, five yards all told, at the 32 yard line of the Crimson Tide. Davis dropping back to throw, looking for Wheeler, pass for Wheeler downfield, is overthrown and incomplete. Over to cover for Tennessee on the play was David Allen. So Alabama on second down, five goes to the air. It becomes now third down and five to go for the Crimson Tide. Tennessee playing the pass well as Allen has Alabama at the 32 in Alabama territory. Davis, again, spinning out the throw. Looking down the middle, waiting, being pressured. Being jumped to the left at the 22 yard line by Carl Johnson. Davis is looking, and Wheeler was covered man, man, man by young David Allen, who was with him step for step. Into the middle came Jackson, and he was picked up as he slid through there by Eddie Wilson, the linebacker. Davis didn't want to throw for an interception, and so he ate the ball. For Tennessee is Eddie Brown, and he'll be taking this punt out of a bit of shadow. The punt by Gant is away, and he hangs it well. This is Brown backing up, makes the catch at the 29, 30, 35, 40. 42, and he's tackled. Tennessee at the 42-yard line will have the ball. First and 10, big John Hanna, who weighs 277, was downfield covering. 49-yard punt, 13-yard return. Fine punting in this game by Gant, who has punted for 17, but that was out of bounds in the football game. Holloway back to throw, out into the flat. The pass is taken by Emmett Love. Makes the catch to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, to the Alabama 46-yard line. Who made that block over there? Had to be, a, it was your effect. Back went sliding through, then peeled back to make a block in the corner, freeing Evan Love, who stepped inside of the block on Norris, 
and quarters downfield to the 46-yard line, where it will be first down and send to go for Tennessee at the Alabama 46. Holloway looking it over. Fakes to, to uh, Rudder, gives instead to stand back, and Alabama didn't take the fake, particularly Mike Raines, who makes the tackle at the 45-yard line of the Crimson Tide. Tennessee 10, Alabama 3. Time is 10.40 to go in this football game. Stand back is now three. Holloway keeping, going left, spins inside one man to the 45 to the 44, and is tackled at that point. Right now, let's take 10 seconds for station identification by telling you this is the Ball Network. You're listening to 1350 WRKM Carthage, Tennessee. It's 3 o'clock. Shift. Leap back a slot man right. Holloway, again with a long count. Now he's going to maneuver out to the right side. Looking downfield, a throw will run instead. Cutting outside to the 40, pushed out of bounds as he gets inside the 40-yard line to the 38. Short of a first by two and a half, maybe three yards. Lanny Norris forces him out of bounds. Holloway thought about... ...appears again to have the rush on. Snap to Claybo. Claybo will angle for the coffin corner. The ball will bounce at the 10. It dances down to the 5. It is down by Tennessee Ware. He's going to give it in for a touchback. That's a good call. It's a good call because his momentum carried the ball into the end zone. The momentum of the ball carried him into the end zone. So it is a touchback. And Alabama will have it at the 20-yard line. The punt is good for 38 yards. We should not comment on the calls we admit, but one of the referees, one of the officials hesitated there a moment. And Alabama has it first down and 10 to go at the 20-yard line. 9.20 to go. First and 10. The fullback is Bichelia. Alabama in the wishbone. Wide left is Wheeler. Creeping up comes the corner. Here is Terry Davis running right. Pitches the ball back to Jackson. Jackson's his fourth collar, but his collar carries him forward from the 23 where he was initially hit out to the 25 or 6-yard line. Jamie Rotella and Tim Towns are there on the tackle. They mark the ball at the 26-yard line of Alabama, where the tide has its second down and four yards to go. Clock is running with nine minutes to go. Apparently, he did not make it to the side boundary because the clock is running. The score... Give goes to Bashelia. Up the middle, he is hit right as he gets to the line of scrimmage by Carl Witherspoon, who was playing a down middle guard with a five-man front for Tennessee. He carried the ball from the 27 to the 28. It will be short of a first by two. That will make it third down and two yards. Tennessee creeps his cornerback up close. Here is Davis keeping on the option going right. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage at the 25-yard line by a penetrating Art Riddle. Ball down at the 25, short of a first. And so Alabama is faced with a fourth down situation as Tennessee's defense continues to play brilliantly against the wishbone. Greg Gant will be receiving. Snap to Gant. One by Gant is away, and again it's a beauty. He can drill that ball, backing Brown up. He'll pull it down at the 24. 25 slips and falls at the 26-yard line just as he started to make his cut. So it will be... Tennessee's ball, first down and 10 to go at the 26-yard line. The balls lead 10 to 3. 52-yard punt by Gant. What a great job he has done. I think it's the 27-yard line. Holloway keeping, picking the stand back, tries to get to the corner, gets the block to the 25, and then he is deck. Great block was thrown on the first man who had a shot at stand back, but then Hurley coming up to cover for Alabama on the corner was Steve Wade. Sonny Leach is the man who made the block, and the man who was blocked is injured on the play. So right now... The officials are asking for timeout. And Bill Anderson, running back, is Chancey behind Holloway. Long count by Holloway. He's heading back to throw. He's looking. He's waiting. He's dancing up there and is thrown for a loss of the 24-yard line by Skip Cabellius. As Holloway started to throw, the man who for whom the pass would have been intended, Chancey, had been picked up by linebacker Lowe on the left side, and so... Holloway pulled it down and tried to dart forward, but staying with it. Holloway in the eye formation at quarterback for Tennessee. Mixed up. Chancey gets the ball, holding it there with Holloway. But Holloway might have turned wrong. He ran right into Chancey, and so he is dropped at the 20-yard line, so the pressure is on Neil Claybo, the sophomore punter on fourth down 17. The ball is unable to do much on that series, losing seven yards, actually lost on each of the three plays. So, Claybo got 10 men up there to rush Neil Claybo. Deep McKinney, the snap 
Burgos punters away, and he didn't hit it well. It's a bouncer that will take a Tennessee roll at the 45-yard line of Tennessee down to the Alabama 45 and is down at the Alabama 41-yard line. A good field position for Alabama. 39-yard punt. Alabama will have the ball at the 41-yard line of the Crimson Tide. 5.38 to go. Tennessee leads 10-3. To Tennessee with a five-man front. Alabama in the wishbone. With the ball, this is Davis. Back to throw the long pass downfield is incomplete. Or was it caught? Was that caught? It was caught on a great grab. A tremendous catch far across the field of the 47-yard line by Wayne Wheeler. Great catch by Wheeler at the 47-yard line of Tennessee. It'll be first down. He was covered by Graham. I never thought he had a chance to make it, and he made it one stride inbounds. A great catch by Wheeler. First down, Alabama at the 47-yard line. Quarterback is Terry Davis. Extremely long count. Gives it off to the fullback. Crashing up the middle comes Steve Bichelia. Bichelia carries the ball down to the volunteer 45. Carl Johnson, Hart Reynolds team up on the tackle at that point. Alabama, a second-half team all year long. Plenty of time on the clock. 5.15, and it's running. Back is Bichelia. The left halfback is Jackson. The right halfback is LeBou. Foot wide to the left side comes Wheeler. He's done a great job in this football game for Alabama. Davis fumbles the ball, but recovers it, I believe, for a gain of maybe a yard. He lost it coming out from under the center with the snap. Falls forward from the 45 to the 44 and a half yard line. It'll be third down seven, Alabama. Davis, the quarterback. Davis looking over Tennessee's defense. They're stunning a bit here and there. Davis keeping, coming to the near side on an option. He's looking across the middle for Jackson, throwing his set deep downfield. It is incomplete, batted out of bounds by Allen. It was intended, it was intended for Wheeler. Before the play, we had thought and discussed here with some of our compatriots what the call might be, and we were looking for Wilbur Jackson to slot through the middle, perhaps get open, but Tennessee smelled the same play, and they were with him. So, Davis had to go deep, and Alabama has Gant in there, apparently to punt on fourth down seven for the game. Gant angling it for the sideline, gets his punt away, and he hits it well, and it is driving downfield, and it is into the end zone, and Tennessee will have it at the 20-yard line. 44-yard punt by Gant. Tennessee will have it at the 20. First down and 10 to go for the Volunteers at the 20-yard line. 4.22 to go in this football game. Linebackers up almost in an eight-man line. They rotate to the left. Holloway, stand back up the middle to the 20, and that's all. Alabama's defensive line, which earlier had been opened time after time for darts by stand back, closing up the gap. Overpowering Tennessee's offensive line. This was Kubilius this time for no gain on the score of 10 to 3. Holloway on a quick count, pitches the ball back to stand back. Stand back gets outside to the 20, to the 23, to the 24. And he is fourth color down at the 24-yard line by the quarterback, Bobby McKinney. Gain of four. And it will be third down and six yards to go for Tennessee. The score, Tennessee 10, Alabama 3. The time, 3.36. Into the ball game for Tennessee comes Galen Hill, replacing down six. Deep in its own territory. Holloway. Coming to the near side, Keeps gets back to the line of scrimmage, and he is stood up. No gain. Reigns and DeBose were there. So here comes Claybo back into the game for Tennessee with 3.08 to go on this game. Fourth down and six for Tennessee. The score, Tennessee 10, Alabama 3. Three minutes left to go in the game. As the 39 yards, Alabama has the rush on the snap. Claybo's punt is away. A wobbly spiral. McKinney has good running room at the 40. Back to the 45, to the 50, down to the Tennessee 48-yard line, and he is tackled by Gene Killian. Alabama has the ball in Tennessee territory with 2.39 to go at the 48-yard line. A 37-yard punt, a 13-yard return. 2.39 left to go in this game. Tennessee leading 10-3. In the wishbone, the quarterback is Davis. Wide to the left side is Wheeler. Here is Davis throwing across the middle to Wheeler. Comes in, makes the catch at the 35-yard line. Down to the Tennessee 30. On he carries the ball inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Great call by Alabama. Just a slant-in pattern from Davis to Wheeler. And Wheeler makes it to the volunteer 28, where with 2.30 to go, Alabama has its first and 10. Well, that last series was a big one for Alabama, John. Tennessee got a little bit conservative deep in their own territory, and they held them and give them another crack at it. They're putting the ball in the air now. Here's quarterback Terry Davis, first down 10 at the Tennessee 28-yard line. 
Gives it over to the fullback. Up the middle comes to Shelly. But Shelly with the ball at the 20 to the 15 to the 10. Down to the Tennessee five-yard line. To Shelly powers his way all the way down to the volunteer two-yard line. Great run by Michelle. Powering behind Hannah. Carrying the ball down to the volunteer two. Tim Brown takes the tackle. But Alabama moves the ball with two minutes and seven seconds left to go. Down to the volunteer two. It will be first down and goal to go for the Crimson Tide. Down to the line fullback. Tennessee stacks it up in his goal line defense. The quarterback, Terry Davis. Gives to the second man. This is Wilbur Jackson. Touchdown, Alabama. Wilbur Jackson over Hannah scores. And so with 1.48 to go in this game, Alabama has pulled to within a point of Tennessee. It's now 10 to 9. Will Alabama go for two? Alabama Chances goes. are they will. We'll wait and see. Davis is in there by that score. Davis will be attempting the extra point for the Crimson Tide. Ball is snapped and down. The kick is up. The kick by Davis is good. There's five out on the field with the score. Tennessee 10, Alabama 10. They've got 10 men upfield. Here comes Alabama. They're going to kick it deep. It's coming downfield here to Standback, who makes it on the run at the 10 and loses the ball out of bounds at the 12-yard line, and that's where Tennessee will have it. Standback racing after the ball, made the grab on the run, and then lost it on a fumble out of bounds. So this game is far from being over. With 1.46 left to go, and Alabama has two timeouts remaining. Condry Holloway, the tie game. Tennessee has led through much of the second half. Holloway spinning out to the left side, looking downfield, waiting, passing the ball out of bounds, intended for Love, but is incomplete. Love was covered, double covered over on the side, and Holloway just threw it away. The clock is stopped with a minute 39 to go in this game. The score, Tennessee 10, Alabama 10. Alabama, Alabama on the side right. Holloway keeping up the middle of the 15. Holloway is to the 15 yard line. Fumbles the football, and it has been recovered by Alabama. Alabama recovers at the 22 yard line. John Mitchell is the man who has recovered the football with a minute 20 to go in this football game. Holloway was really whacked as he came running up the middle. Tossed up the football, and Alabama has it at the 22. It will be first down and 10 to go for the Crimson Tide. 120, plenty of time left to go in the game. Terry Davis is the quarterback in there for Alabama. Has Michelle the fullback. There he goes over Hannah North. Davis keeping to the right side of the field. He has the ball to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Terry Davis on the option right. Takes the gift to the show, yeah. Turned around the corner and streaks downfield to score. And Alabama leads Tennessee by a score of 16 to 10. A recovered fumble, and one play later, Terry Davis, the junior quarterback from Bogalusa, Alabama, circles the right side of the line and streaks into the end zone. Tennessee is backed up deep in its own territory. The clock shows a minute six left to go. Tennessee may have one timeout remaining. Val Buena is back in there at quarterback for Tennessee. The score, Alabama 17, Tennessee 10. Alabama, that's Love. Wide out to the right is Howard. Back to throw is Val Buena. He's got pressure. He's looking. He's going downfield and is incomplete. Almost intercepted by McMakin. As Val Buena forced out of the pocket and sends his pass for Howard, thrown a little behind him, and McMakin got a shot at his key interception. That's Love. Wide out to the right is Howard. Back to throw is Val Buena. He's got pressure. He's looking. He's going downfield and is incomplete. Almost intercepted by McMakin. As Val Buena forced out of the pocket and sends his pass for Howard. Thrown a little behind him. And McMakin got a shot at his key interception, but then could not hold on to the ball. 1-0-1 to go in this game. Alabama 17, Tennessee 10. Here comes Howard. The ball at the 13-yard line. Valbuena to throw. Valbuena looking. Good coverage by Alabama. Valbuena running with the football. Steps out of bounds with it at the 3-yard line. As he is forced out of bounds there by Big Mitchell. 
Alabama, of course, has got just an umbrella prevent defense back downfield with 53 seconds to go in the game. Tennessee loses yardage back down to the two. It's third down and 21 yards to go. Valbuena had nobody clear. And so, rather than throw it up for an interception, he had to race with it and was forced out of bounds by Mitchell. Into the ball game for Tennessee comes Rutter. Navals will have to hurry to get the playoff in time. Of course, the penalty. Now Tennessee takes its time. Tennessee takes its final timeout. The score is Alabama 17, Tennessee 10. As the bottom for the Volunteers falls out in the final two minutes of this game, Alabama, for much of the second half, had been contained in its own territory. Actually, until its possession, two, uh, one time before its touchdown drive, it had not gotten past its own 42-yard line. But when the money was on the line, Alabama came to life. And it was the passing of Davis, the running of Bichelia, and then finally after the fumble, when the game had been tied 10-10, the running of Terry Davis around the right side of the line that has given undefeated, untied Alabama a lead of 17 to 10 over the Volunteers of Tennessee. 53 seconds remain in this game as Jerry Valbuena has come over to talk with Coach Bill Battle. And the Vols trailing by Buena Popping throws it all out here into a flat to stand back who makes the catch at the goal line and gets to the two, and that's all. Tennessee fourth down and 21 yards to go. And let's see what the Volunteers are going to do. Standback was injured on the play after making the catch. They tried to set up a screen, which they did, but Standback was unable to get forward for any yardage. Two others will be coming in for him. And let's see, Tennessee's got to go with the punt. Here comes Clabo into the football game for the Volunteers. 30, 22 seconds to go in the game, and the clock is running. Alabama apparently on, on its way to its fifth Southeastern Conference victory, and it's Sixth victory overall in the year. Tennessee, the officials stepped in to talk to the Tennessee huddle. And Tennessee, well now, the volunteers line up with Claybo to punt. Alabama doesn't have anybody back. They don't care about getting their hands on the ball. They lead 17 to 10. Claybo's punt is away, and it's a scribber that's going to go out of bounds at the 24-yard line of Tennessee where Alabama will have it, leading 17 to 10 with 11 seconds left to go in this game. Alabama, and Alabama took it in on the next play for the lead touchdown, 17 to 10. Davis just falls on the ball at the 30-yard line and will count the clock away. And the Alabama faithful who are here begin to count off the clock. Four, the clock is stopped with four seconds to go as there is a marker down on the play. Now the officials are discussing it among themselves as to what the infraction was. The infraction was a holding against Tennessee and